Another Nigel Ben, like we've got another Chris Eubank. Yeah, I, 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 I think so. And but the difference is, he, this is his own man. He ain't gonna be like me. But I tell you what, he's got power. Phenomenal. That he's 16. He's got phenomenal power. He's gonna be better than me. He will be better than me if he continues to dedicate himself to it. He'll be better than me. Nigel Ben was probably one of my biggest idols growing up. I could see Ben in him. There's something about him that makes you want to watch. Great to see, you know, such a talent in the progression he's in. He's winning and he's winning in exciting fashion. Where do you know me from? 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 Where I'm very proud of my son, I mean, uh, He knows I didn't want him to fight when he was 15. Wow. Didn't expect this either. But I didn't want him to fight. And then um, I just saw what talent he had. And um, I said, you've got to go for it, mate. You've got it all. I can't wait. I mean, I really can't wait. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. And to be able to sit here and, you know, it's actually happening. It's actually happening, you know, so quick. I just really want to enjoy every second of it and give the supporters exactly what they want. And, you know, this Saturday is going to be a start of something new. Enjoy the ride, enjoy the story, and enjoy Connor Ben. Forget the, the name for now. This kid can really, really fight. I've seen him improve so much over the last couple of months. And um, I know it's tough to say, but he does fight just like his old man. You're going to Ooh. really enjoy it. <laughs> Well, how good is this young man? We won't find that out tonight. This, nothing more than a first step on the professional journey. But it's a journey a lot of people are looking forward to. And he's very attack-minded, isn't he? Oh, really yeah. wants to get this over with. Oh, yeah, this fellow's had enough already. That's done. Over. He blew him away. Body shots got him in the end. Could be, could be a star in the making. That man there certainly hopes so. Tough to follow. A legend, because that's what his dad is. But that's a pretty good first step. Connor. A moment you would have dreamt of for a very long time. Was it everything you hoped for? I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, you know, gobsmacked, mate. You know, it's something that will that stay with me till I die, mate. It's unbelievable, the reception I got as well. You know, I, won't, I told you I'm bringing them Team Ben vibes back. And, you know, here it is. Much more to come. Your dad said earlier in the week, I'll sit there, I'll enjoy it, I won't get too nervous. How was it for you? <laughs> my heart, mate, I was ready to sit down, mate. My heart was going like the clappers, but you know what I mean? It's, um, now you see what he's got in store, mate, is his quality. He likes to fight just like me, and he's got the tools, mate. Welcome back, on with the action now, and a second professional appearance for Connor Ben. His dad, Nigel, fought in Glasgow a couple of times, but will the next generation impress against Luke Kelleher? They certainly haven't picked a soft opponent for him in his second fight. Luke Kelleher is 10 years older, only turned pro a couple of years ago, turned pro just to make a, a little bit of extra money on the side. Says he's a huge Nigel Benn fan, very, very tough guy. Not been stopped, had a couple of wins, four defeats, but very experienced in Glasgow, in Scotland as well. This is his fifth fight here, and he's gone in looking to throw bombs, and young Ben is having none of that and has turned him around very quickly. 
So this has gone off to the exciting start we were expecting. A little bit uh, rough and ready here from Kelleher, who obviously is no respecter of surnames and wants to make a name for himself. Now ben sticking with it, and look at those punches, and they're loving it. Well, Kelleher's given Ben no choice <laughs> but to declare war. And he's, that's exactly what he's done. Good solid punches coming in from Ben. He spread his legs wide, get good leverage into the shots. And Josh turning it into a toe, a toe slugfest here. And Ben turning the older man, but again getting clipped. He's prepared to take some risks. He got caught high with a left hook there, Ben. Gee, he's taking a couple of risks here, Jim. He really is. You know, it's, it's tough to ask him to do it any other way here because Keller is really jumping on him, not giving him any space. And uh, if he feels that he's in top, then he'll carry on doing this. But it'd be nice if he stepped back, give himself a little bit of room, see the target, and uh, get the punches on that target. Was that was better. That's what no, that was a terrific combination. Give yourself a bit of room, step back, look at what you're doing, see the target, and punch right through it. Well, this must be like looking at a mirror into the past, this for Nigel Ben. The early career Nigel was gung-ho, head down, get your shots away, who cares if you take one? Well, it certainly hasn't been dull, Jim. With the name Ben, it's not going to be boring, is it? I mean, a little bit scrapped, I have to admit that, as you know, so there are not too many good quality clean punches, but in this kind of fight, you can't expect that. There are loads of excitement. This is the kind of match you want for young fighters. Let them learn just how tough this business is. Don't give them journeymen to, to go over. Make them work. And he certainly... <laughs> Keller made them work tonight. He certainly did. And I think everybody in the arena thoroughly enjoyed that. 40-36, the winner still undefeated, Conor Ben! Conor get Ben gets the decision. There are some boos in the arena. I think some people really appreciated the effort and the big four-round shift that Luke Keller had put in tonight. But that looks the right scoreline. After my fight in Glasgow, I went to the chat, I went in the change room and cried. Um, because it was, I just weren't happy with my performance. And um, like one of the first things my dad came out with was, um, son, why are you slapping? Did you need your mum's handbag? And I was like, oh, dad, really? <laughs> really? Do you know what I mean? And um, he says, yeah, how it is. Maybe he could have been a better fighter if he wasn't involved with those mates who introduced him to that ordinary life, your father... Wait, once, who are you to talk about my life? I'm, I, who are you right, to talk about I'm, my I, life? I, who, who am I? Who are you to talk about my personal life in front of all these cameras? Who are you? I find that extremely disrespectful. No, it's not. It's that not. is very disrespectful. No, it's, it's, it's none of your business. You want to talk about my dad, talk about him. Don't talk about me and come with all that. Connor says he talks to his dad every single day. Just wants to learn, wants to improve, wants to get better. fight that we saw when Ricky Burns the night he became a three-weight world champion in Glasgow. Oh, oh, and then up with a and down goes Ranich. Real viciousness in those shots. Now he's got 40 seconds to get through here. Can Ben get him out of there inside a round? That'll do it. Waved off by Bob Williams, quite rightly. That was a very heavy knockout indeed. I want to give that supporters what they want to see. In my last Lucas Raddick fight, I'm jabbing the geezer. I'm thinking, who wants to see me jab? This is boring. I need to pick it up. Come on, Connor. And that's what goes on in my head. Like, really, that's what goes on. And I think, this is boring. Like, I'm not even breathing hard. And then I watched it back and I thought, oh, yeah, go on, Connor, you got that shot and you got that. And, you know, but what goes on in my head while I'm there is about pleasing the fans and hearing the crowd go, ah. You know, that's what it's all about. And that's how I train up for six weeks. Toward your destination. Though you be Good right hand. 
Showing some chin here already. Joe Ducker, but he's taking a lot of punishment in this first round. And Jeff Hines taking a look, and down he goes. 21 seconds left in the opener, and it's all too much, too heavy for brave Joe Ducker from Shepshed, who answered the call. And blood to the nose, he looks down at his corner as if to say, what do I do here? Conor Ben with another right hand, Matthew. Oh, very impressive flow of punches from Conor Ben. Really impressive there. Down for the second time. The count administered, although the bell has gone. And blood from the nose. How much more will the corner want, Paulie? That's the thing. He might be too brave for his own good. He wants it. It's not always a matter of will, though. It's also a matter of skill. And Conor Ben clearly has, is, has a skill advantage. Joe Ducker taps his gloves together with the uh, blue and black trunks. And Connor Ben looking for his fourth win. He's down already, just bundled down. And Jeffrey Hines administers another count. There's no real point here, Matthew. No, definitely not. You can see he's already found his range. He's landing clean. He's getting full leverage into every punch. They're very hurtful, very accurate. I'm impressed, guys. I mean, this was a, a very clinical performance by Conor Ben. He wasn't too wide with his shots. He didn't reach. You know, he didn't get sloppy. He really was. This was a very calculated finish, boxing performance as well as finish. I feel like he's happy that I've carried on the Ben name and he feels like I'm sort of worthy of carrying on the Ben name. <laughs> and I'm Nigel Benson, you know, it's, it's, it's just it is what it is and, you know, it will always be like that. Forever be, always be like that. Until the point, I've said this in a, a few interviews before, I'll win three world titles. So I'll beat him by one and he'll be in my shadow. You know, until then, I'm, I'm Nigel Benson and I don't mind being there. <laughs> But you know, yeah, but you know, you, it's like yeah. people like you, you know, you're, yeah. you're a great ambassador for the sport that we need, and people loving it again. Yeah, it's We're good though. It again. It's you're, good. You're, 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 you're about, Connor's doing it, everyone's doing their thing, everyone's yeah. adding, everyone's adding to the. No, to the, he needs to look at you, and that's what he needs to. He's on it though, no, he's that's pissed it. though. But the difference is, he's still having that kind of mentality, he's young, yeah. and still, he's got the, the inspiration's just watching you. Second down, round one. He looks more business as he moves to the center of the ring. We did see, I felt, a pretty big improvement in his last fight against Ducker. His second fight against Luke Kelleher. He was wild, he was reckless, he made quite a lot of mistakes. He admits there were tears of frustration in the changing room afterwards that he hadn't managed to put into practice. Some of the things have been talked about in the gym and one thing they've been working on particularly since then, something he already knew but something that Tony Sims is trying to really impress on him, Paulie, is that mistakes need to be eliminated early because there will be consequences for them. Maybe not in your early fights, but if they're repeated, when you step up, there will be a reckoning and you need to make sure that doesn't happen. Absolutely, Andy. And one other thing is, you know, you don't want to get into a habit of making those mistakes because as they get into nice exchanges here, but you don't want to get into a habit of getting into the, making those mistakes too often because they, they become like breaking up cement and you, you start getting into a habit of making those mistakes and it's hard to break that habit even against good fighters. You start to pay the price. Well, into the third round, the schedule for six in the welterweight division. And he has decided that he is a welterweight. He was telling me that he started doing a few more weights after his third fight against Radic. He looked like he would be a super lightweight. He is pretty short for a welterweight, you'd have to say that. But this is good stuff here from Ben. A good dig to the body with the left hand, followed up by the right. Well, there goes the bell, the end of these six rounds, his first six rounds there, Conor Ben. I don't think there's any doubt as to which way that the result is going to go, but hats off to Ross Jameson. He came here and he got through the six rounds and he proved himself to be a capable performer. And how do you feel you cope with your first six rounder, Conor? Um, I felt like I dealt with it OK. I mean, started getting gassed in the last rounds, but you learn and, and now I know what six rounds feel like. I'm going to train harder because I don't want to go there again. <laughs> We did think we'd see him a couple of weeks ago at Wembley Arena, but he had shingles, so 
was unable to box, but glad to get out tonight for one more outing of 2016 before what he hopes will be a big 2017. And there is a left hook that has caught Backhouse flush. He's struggling back to his feet. Darren Sargentson counting him, ushering the boxer towards him. That was a cracking shot, Paul. Great shot. I, I didn't think he was going to get up off that, to be honest with you. He's very powerful, Conor Ben, and he's in for the finish now. And down he goes Two. again. Ben just coming forward, pouring Four. the punches out. He's rubbing the back Five. of his head there, back house. Six. He felt that maybe he was caught Seven. round the back of the head, and he's not going to make it this time, I don't Nine. think. And the referee waves this one off, and that is a minute and seven seconds I made it. I'm going to be honest, Adam, I like the approach Conor Brennan's took here. He's had a bit of time off. Referee That's a big Bushler. one. He's down. He's not going to make it this time, surely. Mike Cole, he's looking at his corner. He's trying so very hard. Jeff Hines is going to wave this off. He does. Conor Ben is back. at six. Seven, Connor Ben's about eight, to start celebrating. Nine, Fight is all over. Ten, Knocked out inside the second round. Ilford's Connor Ben gets a huge round of applause from the Americans and he did to the Mexican what the Mexicans <laughs> normally do to us. It was a wonderful body shot that got rid of the Mexican Brandon Sanudo in the NASA Coliseum in uh, Long Island a few weeks back. Real experience for Ben, but going over to America, oh. and the right hand floors him in the first minute of the first round. What about that? Connor Ben on the seat of his pants. Got caught square on there, at them. he was square and just got sat down. He's just got to ride this out now and maybe draw Ayano onto one. That's what happens when it's all gung ho. And he was caught. The lack of defense. And what can Pedro do? He's going for it here with right hands. And how will Conor Ben to react to the biggest crisis of his career so far? He reacts with fire. That's what he does. What a tear up here in the first round. The body shot there from Ben. He's reacting. He's fighting fire with fire here, Adam. Also caught his. There's so many on. punches raining in here. And Ben taking body shots. Down twice. Oh, and he's really putting it all on the line here, Connor Ben. Neglect. 
protecting defence. And this is what he's promised us. He's, he's taking all one about to give one. Massive risks here, Tony. This is silly now. He needs to just maintain a distance for a couple of minutes here. Good shot from Ben. Wonderful punch there. And now he turns Pano. And the hooks are flying in. And this is what the fans pay to see. This is why they like watching him. Beautiful shot right hand there from Connor Ben. And that hurt Pano. And he's down. A breakthrough. And he needed it. Good shot. Looking on here, he will go for the finish now, and he is a very good finisher. The predatory finisher. That's like his dad. And how he needs it now to put behind him the first three, four rounds of this. And to get home. Bayonet's punches have become slower, Adam, and more easy to see. I think if Connor can land another big body shot, that's what's stopping him from the shots. Good right hand over the top there. Crown lifting Connor Bay. Still all underneath him, Adam here, paying a tear for the taking. Watch the clock. The seconds tick down. Conor Ben, surely going for it. Good body shot from Conor Ben. That was the key as he goes. Oh, he's rocking here, painted. And a 10 7 round now will really change things. And maybe Ben will get it. This has been one of the most dramatic undercard fights we've had in a long, long time. Good and Pano tries to get something off, but Ben has found the punches when he needs them. And he's listening to you and to Darren Barker at ringside. A right hand from Pano. Last 10 seconds. He took a big shot there, Adam. He took a big shot himself. Conor Ben going for the finish. Good shot from Conor Ben. He sees the finish ben. here. Fighting for the back on the feet. For Ben, 57 points. He remains undefeated. Your winner, Connor Ben! So I think the only thing I showed in that fight was that I had heart. I don't know what happened tonight. You know, it's, um, it's one of the things you come on and you bounce back stronger. You can't test heart. You know, all these fighters that come on, you can't test heart. You either go or you're not. My, 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 what I was doing in there weren't, weren't professional, it weren't, it weren't calculated. You know, but I showed heart. That's, that's all I can say. Back to the drawing board and learning, man. That's why I don't go and give it Charlie Big Banana say, I'm gonna be this and be that. You know what? So I'm gonna have performances like this. And you know, I'll only learn from it. It's a roller coaster journey. They're not all gonna be easy winning fights. I'm gonna make mistakes like I did. Everyone thought I was gonna knock down this opponent. It's just gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But you know what? I will win.